As the November election draws near, reporter Megan Guthrie breaks down the issue of immigration, asking the Republican and Democratic candidates for governor their plans to enact change. The topic of immigration is nothing new for the state of Arizona. Both gubernatorial candidates Fred Duvall and Doug Ducey agree when it comes to border security, the federal government is underperforming. I give our federal government a failing grade. Well, I give Washington, D.C. an F. So why the bad grade? Uh, the leaders of both parties have failed Arizona, have failed the border states, and have failed the country in dealing with this issue. So many of the lingering issues around this topic are a result of our federal government not dealing with it, and there's plenty of blame to go around here. This isn't just one party. And if elected governor, what is each candidate's plan? One, reach out to work with our federal government work with our border agents, but beyond that there are real, very real issues around cross-border crime that are happening, drug cartels, human trafficking. This is where the Department of Public Safety comes in. This is where border sheriffs and border uh, county, uh, county prosecutors come in. Going after the bad actors, the cartels, smugglers, is, is one of the things that a governor can do. Properly resourcing our state police is certainly a, a part of what a governor can and should do. Uh, advocating with other governors for a comprehensive solution is something that a governor should do. Regarding comprehensive immigration reform, their thoughts are mixed. We need a comprehensive uh, bill passed that addresses our security needs, our economic needs, our cultural needs, uh, and the time to do it is now and uh, really uh, I'm hopeful that the president and the Congress both will step up and get this important job done. I'm not a huge fan of the word comprehensive. It somewhat reminds me of Obamacare. We knew we needed health care reform. We knew there were certain issues like pre-existing conditions and lifetime caps that should have been solved, but they tried to solve everything underneath the sun, and what we're seeing is a, is a real rolling disaster. So I think there are issues around immigration that we can solve first, and let's do it in a step-by-step -step basis, and let's do it with a sense of urgency. With just 34 days left until the general election, voters will have to wait and see how their winning candidate will respond. In Phoenix, Megan Guthrie, Cronkite News. Now, of course, this is just one topic that's in the minds of voters, and we'll continue to keep you informed on the candidates' plans on the issues that matter most to you.